Цоро на Бога, ліс на Бога, ліві ялень. Цоро на Бога, ліс на Бога, ліві ялень. Long ago, in the wild northwest, in a town made of gold called Gidor, there lived a family who fell under the spell of a great wizard named Leo, who there didst run upon. Night after night, he would demand from this family a music so magical it would keep travelers and pilgrims captive under his roof and they not realize all the potter they were putting away. Neither did it take him any time at all to realize his inn could not contain this music and he released them from his spell. We grew up singing a lot of the old Gaelic songs that my mother and my, grand, my mother's uh, parents would have given us. But the, my father was... bought a pub in 1968 from then on, we backed up my father singing ballads, all different types of ballads. And then he would say, you carry on and do half an hour uh, most nights. Everybody thought that it was a bit mad to be singing in Gaelic, really. And so we must have been quite stubborn because we went on and did six albums. And people, they didn't know what to make of it, especially the local people. And it wasn't until Harry's Game happened that they kind of Oh, okay, they do have a job. Harry's Game was this series about the conflict in Northern Ireland. How does that reflect in, in the song? Well, it was uh, fictional, but it was, you know, based on fact too. But it was about the North. And I picked a book of my grandfather off the shelf. Shannochle of Connacht, the old proverbs from Connacht, which is the west of Ireland. And I opened it at Bias, which is death. And this one is Imai, a jockey, Zidanek, a All things must pass. East and west will pass. The sun and the moon will pass. And the young man with all his traits. It was a lament for Northern Ireland, and I thought it was very appropriate to uh, write it in Gaelic. George Seymour, who wrote the book um, when they were filming it, um, asked the director and the producer um, to come and, uh, and meet with us because he heard something on our sixth album, it was the Scottish, Scottish Gaelic, Gaelic song that we sang. And it was, it was Warag, wasn't it? And we sang a song called... Um, and it was just like, you know, he loved the, the sound of our voices and the harmonies and everything. And he was actually saying, can we use that song? And we said, not appropriate. <laughs> of our Gaelic songs would have fall the deetle doodle la the dum or fall the deetle doodle la the dum and music. we decided because it was sad to slow down the fall to fall the dum fall
the lovely thing about Harry's Game was the fact that it was it was the first and only Gaelic song that ever reached the, the top five in England. But when they kind of realized that we were singing words, um, because I think they just thought it was sounds, they thought it might be offensive because there was a lot happening between Ireland and England at the time. So they took it off the, the airwaves for one day to, until we sent them the translation and that it wasn't offensive. <laughs> 